Subhanallah, there was a bombing in Gaza. So well, there's a, there was a lot of casualties and, and a few people were wounded and they're on the verge of death. So an Imam was going from one person to another. There was a man that was bleeding badly. So this Imam came up to this man and he said to him, Say la ilaha illallah. And we all know my beloved brothers and respected sisters. Prophet Sallallahu said, Whomever says la ilaha illallah as his last words will enter into Jannah. Allahu Akbar. This Imam was persistent. He was saying to this man, Say la ilaha illallah. Say la ilaha illallah. And this man was struggling. And then he said it. And then he died. When he died, an old woman came and she said, Oh Imam, that was my son. That's my son. He said, Yes, I have some good news for you. He said, La ilaha illallah. And she cried and cried and cried. He said, Don't worry. Allah has said, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, and don't think that those that die for the sake of Allah, that they're dead, but they're living with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She said to him, I'm not crying because of that. I'm crying because my son is deaf and dumb. He never spoke in his life. And the Imam was overwhelmed and he started to cry. And he said, Oh Allah, you've given the ability to a person who's deaf and dumb to say La ilaha illallah. Oh Allah, give us the ability to say La ilaha illallah before we die. May Allah protect you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.